hate that. My god, the entrances are so boring. I don't know what to talk about. I guess I should just completely like spam you guys right now, basically. Alright, so. No, that was not what I wanted to say. I didn't want to burp very loud in the microphone. Oh my god. I'm gonna fucking die, apparently, from these raviolis. <laughs> I'm a good sponsor, right? You should be like, yeah, I'm eating them right now. Oh god, I have indigestion. I'm gonna go puke. Bye, guys. Anyway, so. There goes their sales figures. But, um, to be honest, you guys should, should check out my channel www.youtube.com slash not wrestle we we're gonna start up our claw stuff again we used to do our claw stuff pretty damn well we had a very good thing going until for the love of god fucking my account got cancelled the original used to be wrestle tube now it's not wrestle tube because the first one got cancelled cute freaking pissed off at youtube and my dogs are flipping out always good so in that split second I took care of my dogs, they're all done and I'm pudding now. Um, to be honest, Jamon Macklin is probably one of my top five at least favorite wrestlers on UCW. To be honest, there's something about him, he says a cool demeanor. Him and the fact, that and the fact that, um, Cash, man. He's like the DiBiase of today, man. Really coaxing people with money. I kind of enjoy it. I kind of really enjoy it. It's like the old thing with Andre the Giant, classics, and then Hulk Hogan comes in. You know, I love an old, a tribute almost to the old, the retro, the old days of wrestling. I kind of enjoy it. To be honest, his ring ability is really impressive. He's not only for show. Here comes another man. Is this Steven again? Yep. Even Shinkat, Marco Martin, technically, is in the belly. And why is Steven here? Oh, looks like that's a funny part. I have to see the real life. Maybe he's on the webcam video. Check out why he's in WA. You can see that actually got enough of like you. Why do you need a young wrestling coach in the store? Oh, he's in the future. Real wrestling promotion. Then behind the phone, he's doing it now. Off from the phone, and now the ring. Loud entrance. Like, you wouldn't feel the fear anyway. Don't start it. Steve. Steve. Oh, there's all black people, and the establishment is all white, so uh, we have a um, racial, racial war right over here. This is the Valkyrie quality too, uh, Mako wants the quality, he wants the shot of the title, and uh, we are underway after my, oh yeah, we, we dancing, oh jeez, close line. But after my little interlude there, we are finally underway, and finally I'm able to talk about something that's relevant. While I'm eating vanilla pudding. Mmm. Vanilla pudding. Nothing helps when you're gonna vomit like vanilla pudding. Driving a shoulder into Jackson. This wonderful throw. Goes to the top rope and oh, double axe handle onto his arm. Painful stuff. Irish whip and then clothesline to the back of the head. Oh, stomping on his nuts. And then stop all oh, three stomps the nuts and a clothesline accidentally hits Macklin instead of Jackson. Has his finisher. An RKO. Please tell me that's the match. Please tell me that's the match. But no, Macklin has the awareness to break up the pin, thank God. You know what they say, black people too stupid to think. That's why they never let them work in wrestling. <laughs> Oh my god, Steven Sintag getting involved. But they're really trying to get a quick victory over there. Cody and Tom Adams trying to pick up a very quick victory. Irish whip into the corner. Tags in Cody. Irish whip and drop the hole in an elbow. Thank god, what an eyesore this cause. It makes, it actually adds to my uh, wanting to vomit. Kick to the back of the head. And they are beating the piss out of Jackson. Macklin breaks up the pin. Mmm, pudding. 
God, do I hate when my mom randomly comes home halfway through my narration. It's always awkward. Because she's like, who are you talking to? I'm like, computer. She's like, you gotta grow up someday. I'm like, it's commentary. <laughs> like, come on. Be commentating? People commentate. Oh, jeez, man. What a cool move. Almost like a zigzag reversal to that clothesline. And Cody must be shaking a little bit here. Tags in Macklin, finally. Allowing this master of the ring to Alabama Slam to get into the match and finally show off his expertise. Um, huge suplex by Macklin. Flaunting his money signs everywhere. And the Randley crosses. I don't understand the crosses on the uh, bottoms on the long... How should I say? What, what would they call them, really? Broken up the pin by Tom Adams. But, um, how would you, the long tights? Yeah, tights, long tights. Suplex again by Macklin, showing perfect form and saying, eh, I need to uh, take a breather apparently. So he tags in, Macklin, who's going, spinning neckbreaker. Beautiful maneuver by the man with the most luscious hair in UCW. Actually, Steven, you should have a hair, you should have an afro match with uh, J Jackson versus DMAC. And that would be a pretty funny match if you made it all about them basically bitching at each other about who has better hair. That would probably be a really good match. But I'm pretty, pretty sure... Um, oh, actually, Sakito I'd have to talk to. Because um, Steven... I can only bitch at Steven for one more match. As Macklin drops the knee and looks for the pin with his finisher completely charged. Steven... They're having this little contest with this UCW, right? Uh. And, um, basically, they're going to see who's the better uh, booker. So, I'm pretty sure Steven, huge big boot as uh, Paris in the Shrek, so ref, we're gonna, they're going to see between Steven and I know the next guy, I'm not sure how many people are involved, but the next owner, thanks Bulldog, is uh, Sakito. Sakito will be taking over for the remainder. I'm pretty sure, probably three episodes in a pay-per-view, just like... Steven did three episodes of pay-per-view and then is relinquishing his duties. And uh, then we go from there and see what happens. I'm pretty sure I enjoy Steven's effort and I uh, applaud him. I'm not exactly 100% uh, completely satisfied with some of his decisions, but um, at the same time, I enjoy what he did. I enjoy his opportunity for letting me be a commentator, so thank you very much, Steven. Despite the fact I rip on you and make fun of you a lot. I love you, man. Huge GT by Macklin. It's his finisher. I'm pretty sure his match is... No! Tom Adams gets up. RKO! But you can't see because... Oh, he's angry too. But the steps got in the way of the camera. So he pins him. One, two, three. No! So close. I thought for a second the guys, like the jobber guys, were going to beat them. An RKO reversed by Macklin and Neckbreaker to regain the momentum and regain his composure in this matchup. Looking for a tag here, obviously, but Macklin's slow to recover. Get back on the apron. Uh, he's just waiting. And finally, Jackson tags in and walks into a clothesline by Tom Adams. From the outside, this action pours and he tosses him over the steps. That's always Seems pretty painful to me. Get out of the way, owner. What's Pearson gonna do? Beat the piss out of his own wrestler? Really? Why is he even at ring size? So stupid. Seriously? Control freak much. Spinning neck break under that exposed concrete. And this is the only match I've actually commented seriously today, so I'm proud of myself for finally getting into a bit of a game. Putting on my game face. And what the hell, Peterson? Really? Really? Really, Peterson? You're gonna throw him back in the ring? Pretty sure it's a, that should be a DQ, because he physically maneuvered the uh, wrestler in the match. So that should be a disqualification. Macklin and Jackson should have won this match. Just saying. Anyway. Oh, jeez. What? Oh, another question. What is the name of that move, technically? Because John Cena is all the time. And oh my god, look at the math. Let a schism by Jackson. Snapmare. And drop kick. Oh, neck breaker. Even more athletic. Goes for the cover. 
I go for the pudding. And he breaks up the counter too. Mmm, my god. Vanilla pudding is so good. I'm gonna vomit still. Oh my god, Orton Backbreaker. By uh, Randy Orton. I mean, Tom Adams. They like to use that joke a lot, but to be honest, they don't look alike. Just because the wrestler basically has the same exact uh, move set doesn't mean they're that wrestler. Let's look at it that way. Because Edward Slaughter basically has Triple H's move set. And he's not Triple H, he's actually like Razor Ramon. So, nah, take it as you uh, see it. But to be honest, I don't buy it. I really don't. Hmm, looks like Jackson's banged up a little bit, shaking his head. Tags in Macklin! My man Macklin. Kick to the face, that has to hurt. And hot tag! Cody! Comes in, shot, missed to Macklin. Wow. <laughs> Anticlimactic much. Macklin, Russian leg sweep. And this match continues, surprisingly. I thought it would be over by now. I thought it was going to be a pretty quick match. Bulldog. But apparently not. I like the uh, recognition Macklin and Jackson are getting. Their tag team match co even comes after the tag team titles are uh, put on the line. Rather, the tag team titles were decided earlier. First match, and then uh, a couple matches in, we have this match. Which seems kind of odd to me. I think this would be a better uh, startup match. Just saying, Steven, if you ever get this company back, uh, that might be a good idea. Tags in. Jackson. Double Irish whip and hip toss. Double hip toss. And they're awkwardly stumbling into each other until Macklin busts out some dance moves and almost teabags him. It's a thing of beauty. That would have fit perfectly, and uh, to be honest, he just got on his knees just like the Heartbreakers wanted him to. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, the Heartbreakers. I didn't know we had gay rights. Do we, do we accept gay people here? I didn't think wrestlers really liked that kind of stuff, because there could be a lot of ball grabbing and ass smacking. Just saying, it's a little bit of an awkward work environment. But anyway, Tom Adams goes at it. Just kidding, I have a lot of friends that are gay. It's not a big deal, I'm just fucking around. I don't want to offend anybody. Randomly attacks the ref. I don't see what the point of that was. And oh my god! It's almost like a zigzag. It's freaking amazing. It's like a spinning... I'm going to spin around you and then hit you with the zigzag. But nope, only two. Off of that amazing maneuver. Finisher still charged for Tom Adams. And kick to the back of the knee. Shot to the back. Punch. Grab missed. Grabs him. Twists his arm. Looks like a call. Every single thing. Drop kick. Woo! Kick to the face. Choking him out. Finish your charge. Go for it. Go for it, Macklin. And taunting a wee bit. And a huge DDT. And uh, that should be it because he has the perfect form on his DDT. And to be honest, that has to be it. Tell me, he's going to do three DDTs in a row? His finisher three times in a row? This has to be it. This has to be it. And Macklin and Jackson obtain victory here. And they defeat Cody and Tom Adams at the pay-per-view, much to the script. Ah, sorry. Much to the chagrin of Mr. Peterson. And my god, the dominant tag team these guys could be. Black Power and this syntax, no reason. Andrew Martin. I knew I didn't know that. Am I supposed to know him? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. That's one of those secret things. I wonder where the hold is right now. I'm so stuck on the fact that he's bound and gagged Napoleon and steals out there. And I'm going to move Napoleon in the back. Oh. You may never know.